Welcome! Today we're going to look at a vintage Tudor Submariner and the modern Black Bay 58. And then we'll compare the two. Now the Black Bay 58 was definitely inspired by some of Tudor's previous models. While the reference 7924 Big Crown Submariner is usually cited as the inspiration for the Black Bay 58, in my mind its dial most closely resembles the Tudor Submariner on the left from 1980. This is because it not only has the snowflake hands, but it also has what I call a bars and dots dial configuration. This is a reference 94010 issued to the French Navy in 1980. It's engraved on the back with MN80 standing for Marine Nationale, and it was issued to a submarine called the Augusta. We know that because of its decommissioned paperwork that accompanies this watch. Now when I first received this watch, it actually had incorrect aftermarket Mercedes style hands on it. You can see that here on, the, on top of its decommissioned paperwork. Now while it's not uncommon for hands to be changed in the military, these were just wrong. So I took the liberty of finding correct snowflake style hands that I knew would have been born with this particular dial and this particular watch. And it just looks so much better. Now this particular dial and hand combination is often seen on Tudor Submariners around the 888,000 serial number range. This particular example has a serial number of 897,116. Uh, these dials are often associated with Canadian mill subs or Tudor Submariners issued to the Canadian military, although less information is known about those. Uh, it wasn't clear if this was actually a, an original dial and hand combination, but Tudor Collector recently found an advertisement from Tudor that showed this particular dial and hand combinations, and that confirmed that this was indeed an original dial and hand combination. I have this on an MN strap from ndcstraps.com, and this is made from original parachute webbing material. MN divers would use this to fashion their own straps, and because it's elastic, it makes it easy to get on over their wetsuits. This particular example preserves some of the details from the original parachute gear, and pairing these with an MN watch adds a nice touch of authenticity. And here it is on my six and a quarter inch wrist. You can see here the Plexi is also domed. Uh, it's not a super dome as some of these have. I'm not sure if this Plexi is original or not, but it still has that curved vintage vibe. Now turning to the Black Bay 58, one of the first things you might notice are these colors below the chapter ring. This particular model was a limited edition release by Watches for Good, a charitable organization with a mission to leverage the power of watches to address hunger, education, and medicine. You can learn more on their website, watchesforgood.org. Now when I got this, I was super impressed by the finishing and the overall dimensions and the feel. It did come on a steel bracelet that, for my vintage taste, felt a little bit heavy, even though I know it's actually a relatively light bracelet by modern standards. Right now I'm wearing it on this vintage Perlon strap that definitely felt right at home on the Black Bay 58. There are rose gold accents throughout the Black Bay 58 on the bezel and on the dial and that really brings a lot of warmth to the piece. I really like the way that Tudor did the domed sapphire crystal on the Black Bay 58. It gives it a nice vintage vibe. The domed aspect plays really nicely with the watches for good customization. A sort of now you see it, now you don't effect. Here it is on my wrist. I have a six and a quarter inch wrist and the proportions feel just right. It has a very vintage feel to it. Now the case size on the Submariner is 38 millimeters with 20 millimeter lugs. 
And on the Black Bay 58, we also have a 38 millimeter case and 20 millimeter lugs. I measured the case at slightly over 38 millimeters, maybe 38 and a half, but very close uh, dimensions. And comparing the dials, you can see both have the bars and dots configuration along with snowflake hands. And here's a comparison of the side profiles of the cases. You can see the vintage has a little bit sharper curvature and feels a little bit thinner. It also has drilled lugs making for easier strap changes. The vintage model also has crown guards and the modern one lacks them. Taking a closer look at the crown guards on the vintage Submariner, you can see that they're turned down a little bit and adds a little bit to the dimensions of the case. Um, the chamfers on this case are pretty worn away through use. But it's really great to see that the Black Bay 58 has chamfers and it's a really great, you can see there's that third surface there between the side of the case and the top. The bezel on the vintage Tudor sub is bi-directional, friction fit. The bezel on the Black Bay 58 is unidirectional and it has 60 clicks. It has a nice feel to it and I really like it. So there you have it, the Black Bay 58 and a vintage Tudor Submariner. Please like and subscribe and if you'd like to know more about Marine National issued watches, please check out my book, Marine National.